Mike, welcome back to St Neats Town TV. Um, caretaker manager today, chairman, general dog's body. Um, but more importantly than that, three points on the board and uh, a nice win to send Gary off with, perhaps. Um, good performance from the lads. What do you make of it? Yeah, it was. First of all, you know, I think everybody knows the situation where we left ourselves in and it's been a very, very stressful week, even by my standards. Um, and, you know, I had to build... I had no one to take them, to be honest with you, and it's about what most of the supporters have said about motivation um, and effort and desire to win. And um, I've, I've always thought myself pretty good at that in my business, so I thought I'd just try that. So I had them in on Thursday. Um, I spoke to them all, I told them what we needed. Um, spoke to them individually yesterday and built them up in the correct manner and the right, said the right things to the right players. And um, again, we came in today. Um, I had my, my son Jamie help me and thanks to Chrissy Dillon, he helped me as well. And we was out there and um, you know we, we had a game plan. Um, and the main thing was work hard, put a lot of effort in because we knew the other side would come and give us effort, put a lot of effort. They had two decent forwards up there. One of them was an ex-pro who uh, had to retire because of injury. I knew all about him. I knew about the other one, and uh, you know that's how we started off. And, uh, go on. It was a terrific first half. I thought we we came out and we did show that work rate. And like we've always said, and we've talked about it before the game, work rate comes first, and then the quality shone through, didn't it? Because we scored some fine goals today. Yeah, it did. And the work rate, the work rate was there. But one of the things I asked them to do um, is to try and play a higher line, which which. Um, Historically, we haven't. We've always played too deep. And uh, I said, we're going to take a chance. We're going to play a higher line. And then I got Crackers just to sit in front of them. And I thought Crackers was outstanding today. And there was Springy there as well. I thought, you know, when all due respect to the second half, I thought Sp losing Springy um, lost us a bit of momentum because Springy's a very intelligent and player and a good passer. But yeah, you know, we the two wingers done well. Hutton. Um, young David Hutton got a great goal. He done exactly what he was asked. Drew got a, a humdinger to put his two 0 up, and you know that settled us down a little bit. And defensively, we worked well today as a team. We were fighting to get the ball back. There wasn't many opportunities where you felt, "Come on, lads, press the ball, press the ball." We we seem to do quite well, well in that, that respect. Was another thing, and I'm glad you said that, Adam, because you know um, I'm glad that part of it was noticed. Because in the dressing room, I said, you know. You, they can't play if they haven't got the ball, and if we if we haven't got the ball, I said if they're passing it across the back four, don't waste your energy. But the moment they try and spring forward from the back four and start passing it, I want it chased down. Um, I want you to get it back as quickly as possible, and if you chase them down and make them go wide and you push it off them to, to a throw in or something like that, and just don't let them out of corners, but chase and get it back, harass them. Because, you know, my idea was is, is that, you know, if, if we match these teams with um, energy, you know, determination and put a lot of effort in, you know, because that's what all these teams do. If we match them in the first first instance, and our quality will come through, and that's what they've done. I thought Frome gave a good account of themselves today, um, and their goal was a first-class goal as well. I don't think there's too much we could have done about that, maybe pressed no, it a bit I better. Had, but I had a word with, with Paul afterwards, he's always very critical of himself in goal, and um, it was one of those sort of, it was a looper and an over. And they hit the crossbar at the end, and that was another one, another good shot. And they're, they're the sort of shots you can't get, but it still should have been blocked out before the guy shot it. He came across, and he, we didn't tackle him, we didn't try and block him. So we gave him a free effort on his left foot to curl it in. That was a lovely goal, credit to the fella, you know. And um, Frome obviously got put down to 10 men just before half time yeah. after our goal. I don't know if it was a bit of a frustrating tackle on Louis there but I felt it was yellow card best but there we go well in my first instincts thought it was just one of those things you know both slipping I didn't even I didn't think it was a card then after I thought about it I thought it might have been a yellow but I don't think it was a red no no I don't think it was a red and I was quite near it but hey you know um, I take that uh, we don't have a lot of luck at this club uh, on the football pitch and that gave us a bit of luck but it, I thought it was it might have been easier playing against 11 players than playing against 10 because, you know, 
Um, when you play against 10 players and they have a bit of enthusiasm and they come out and work, and I, I knew in the second half, after the first 10 minutes, I said to the lads, I said, you know, what we've got to do is we've got to keep, keep hold of the ball and we've got, to keep them, we've got to stretch them out, get it into the channels and stretch that 10 players out. If the 10 players are compact, they just compete with us. Yeah, they worked even harder for each other. And um, quick mention for the throne keeper, he got a nasty gash on his he legs did. today, didn't he? He had a challenge with Ben. I spoke to Ben about it. He said the ball held up a bit and they both went into each other and Ben studs um, caught the guy's leg and it opened, opened a gash in his leg and he had to come off and it was very unfortunate, you know. We wish him a speedy recovery. So, yeah, we certainly do, yeah. And, and just quickly on a personal note, you love your football, you love analysing yeah, the game. I do, yeah. And today, um, it was you in the dugout. I can't analyse it. How was it? How do you find it? I, fi I found it very hard. Um, one thing I found is that the noise on the touchline is trying to make yourself, and I do have a big mouth, I know everybody, um, it's trying to make the players listen and understand what they're concentrating. And I didn't have enough time because of we never had training Tuesday. Um, we came in Thursday and I thought it was a, a way of bonding the team and talking to the motivators. So we never had training on Thursday. And these sort of things, it's easier on the training pitch to get things right. And then they can yeah. come out on the, on the match day and do it. But I never had that opportunity. So it was a bit more tense, and yeah, I, I can analyse it. I can't remember a lot of this game because I was so intense and involved. Yeah, and it's you know the object of the exercise is make sure the players are up for it, make sure the players are no heads down, make sure the players worked really hard. Um, and they're all talking work together. Well. Absolutely, I yeah. told them to talk. I told them to encourage, not to argue, as footballers do. If someone makes a mistake, give them encouragement talk so all of those aspects were very good all those elements they put into it so you know all in all it was a good victory three points is three points and that's what we needed and you know we let a goal in but we let a, a goal into a wonder goal and I don't really think we had any real shaky moments I don't think
for it, last five, everything goes. Yeah? Rockers, no chances. No! Yes! Come on! Oh, yes! Come on! Oh, yes! 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 Oh,
in. We don't like Omar's rod. Drive, Chris. Drive, drive.